we prosper, spiritually speaking, in in numbers and of course in our spiritual growth for the last year 2014, it will continue for this year 2015. Amen. And I praise God, and I I know that what had been brought to this church last year 2014. It will be doubled for the year 2015. Amen. Why? Because I believe each one of you, each one of us, will bring souls. Amen. To the sakapaanan ng Dios, will bring souls for God's glory. Because the very objective, the very purpose. And the primary objective and purpose, purpose of this church, as Jesus Christ is the head of this church, of this church, as said in Luke chapter 19, verse 10, Jesus said, "I came to seek and to save the lost." And 2015, do not forget that primary objective of Christ why he came to this earth and being part a body of christ a temple of the holy spirit it is our primary objective objective as well to bring christ before his throne amen and for us people of god to do that for us people of god to, 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 to obey the demand and the command of God, our, our faith must flourish. Our faith must be must always be active. Our faith must always be alive. Kasi ang buhay na pananampalataya ang lumalagong pananampalataya. If your faith is dead, it will never grow. If you, our, our faith is dead, you cannot, and we cannot even say a word for the glory of God. Amen. And I have just said, I'm here for English. <laughs> As we have just said, the whole world cannot to be to get the glory. Let us open the Bible to Psalms chapter 92. Verses 25 to 15. Verse, uh, chapter 92. <coughs> 12 from 12 and 15. It says, Can you turn up those of us? Sister, uh, 92, 12 to 15. I don't know Psalms, yes, 92, 12 to 15. And I choose the glory of my heart, and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. And I said to the house, and flourish in the courts of our parents. They will still bear good in old age. They will stay fresh and clean, <laughs> proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. Amen. Do you believe in that? Amen. Amen. So the, the, the message of the day is uh, entitled Flourishing Faith, Active Faith, Alive Faith, Growing Faith, and so on and so forth. Amen. Amen. Are, is your faith alive? Amen. Active? Amen. We will, God will. We'll see it this year, 2015. Amen? Again, Psalms 92 says, 12 to 15, it says that the righteous, when we say the righteous, godly people, we are righteous, amen, in the eyes of God. We are godly people, amen. But the godly shall flourish like palm trees and grow tall as the darts of Lebanon, for they are transplanted into the Lord's own garden, 
sabi ko doon. Amen? And are under His personal care. Even in the old age, they will produce fruit and be vital and green. Sabi nga yung, 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 yung tree, pag ito ay, when it is healthy, yung kulay, the color of the, 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 the what's this? The leaves are green. Kitang-kita mo. Mag-green ma, 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 na green the color of the leaves and of course the whole body of the trees. Amen? And of course, it says that palm trees are known for their long life. Yung palm tree. Nakakita na ba tayo nun? Palm trees? Amen? Ako, hindi ka pa ka-attack nakakita. I was not able to see that tree, but I was able to eat that tree. Yeah. No, I, I, there, I have found there, uh, that's not palm tree, but yung, uh, what is this? Yung, Uh, no, it's not palm tree, but it's dates. No? Mostly, ang nakikita ko doon, I have seen dates. No? Palm tree. But I have take, I have it, eat, I have eaten the, the fruits, no? Yung palm, yung ano, amen? I have that, no? That, uh, that is for say, that palm fruits, no? Maybe you don't know. No? Amen? Yung palm, yung ano ba tayo doon? Kaong. Kaong, I have that. Maybe, no? For your information only. <laughs> okay. Palm trees are known for their long life to flourish. Like palm trees means to stand tall and to live long. Amen? For us Christian, are you sure that you will live long? Spiritually speaking? Yes, because when you receive Christ, we have eternal life. Buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. That's why the psalmist, yung sumulat po ng psalm, those who, uh, I think it was David, he was son of Korah and Asap, those were the one, those were the people who wrote psalms and what we call them psalmist. Amen. Christians were compared to, we are likened to palm trees because of their long life. And for us Christians, it's not just long life, but eternal life. The cedars of Lebanon grow, grew 120 feet in height, but that's not, no? and up to 30 feet in circumference, circumference, yung luwang. Amen? Thus, kung kaya, they were solid, they were strong, and they were unmovable. And of course, the soundness. So, believers like a palm tree as a bright strong and unmovable by the winds of circumstances. Sabihin, whether if you are in a situation of what we call ups and down, whether you are in a, posi- in a situation we are, wherein we are experiencing some problems, some difficulties, some persecution, Amen? Maybe in terms of sickness, in terms of financial difficulties, or in terms of some other problems. But, again, the psalmist compared us as believer of God, as active in our service to God, they were likened us to some, to, 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 to palm trees, that we are solid, that we are strong, and that we are unmovable, regardless of the circumstances. Amen? Are we strong? Amen? 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 Why are we strong? Bakit tayo, ma- bakit tayo strong? Ano strong? Malakas. Bakit tayo, why is it that we are unmovable? Why is that we are so late? It is because 
Our faith is active. Our faith is strong. Our faith is growing. Amen? It is our faith that give us strength. It is our faith that give us hope. It is our faith that makes us unmovable regardless of the situation. It's so cold outside. But why are you here? Just to see me? <laughs> of course not! And then, baka, there might be someone may, may say, No, 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 no! <laughs> Pero hindi umami na pugi ako. <laughs> Joke lang. Amen? We are here not because of you people. Of course, I want to see you. You are not here because you want to see me. Maybe we, want, we are here not just to eat the food that you have brought here. We are here it is because of our faith in Christ. Amen? God said in His word, two or three gathered in His name, He is in the midst of us. Nandun ka pa rin kayo sa inyong tahanan, even though you are in your temporary dwelling place, I am in my in our temporary, temporary dwelling place, still the, the God, Jesus, is in the midst of us. And God said, wake up, dress up, go to your assembly place. And this is our assembly place. Why are you here? To exercise your faith, to demonstrate your faith, to know to this world outside this church and inside this church that your faith is growing. Amen. That you have faith in Christ. Amen? Amen. Again, and the song is so believers like a palm tree as a bright, strong, and immovable by the winds of circumstances, it is because of our faith and because of their faith. You, you, their faith, yung the Old Testament or the early Christian. By the way, when we say faith, what is faith? This is the name of uh, daughter of sister uh, Pastora Cherry, sharing faith. Is that shared faith? Is that the faith that we are talking about? Of course not. According to Hebrews chapter 1, chapter 11, verse 1, kindly please. Okay. Hebrew 11. Chapter 1, 11, chapter 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. And before we continue for the message of God, bear with me for a short prayer. Once again, thank you, Lord of God, for this wonderful day, wonderful moment. Yes, Lord, to be with your people. Thank you, Lord, that 2015, we declare, we declare and we claim that this year is a prosperous year. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah for this church and for every individual member of this church. Oh God. Those people who come in and go out from this church, I believe that 2015 is a blessing year for all of them. Ama, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Use me for your glory, O oh God. Hide me behind your, behind your wings, O oh God, that you alone be exalted, that you alone be sent and exalted, O oh God, and glorify, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I, I pray, O oh God, help us to open our heart, our spiritual, our spiritual mind, our spiritual eye, eyes, our spiritual heart, O oh God, to understand you, to understand your words, O oh God, to be a, a receptive of your words, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, O oh God, for the blessing that we're gonna, we are going to receive for today, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 As we have just read Hebrews 11, verse 1, it says that faith is the confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. Are you, uh, are you, are you expecting that good things will gonna happen this year 2015? Amen. Amen. It is the certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us. The things that you are still hoping for, andyan lang. It's just around the corner. Amen? Even though we cannot see it up ahead, kahit hindi mo pa nakikita, believe, 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 exercise your faith, your faith, demonstrate your faith. 
As definition of faith is that faith is a confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. It involves your trust. It involves your obedience. It not just, Lord, I have faith. Kailangan magtiwala ka. You need to trust God. We need to obey God. To receive that promise of God. And of course, when we talking about faith, there are fascinating facts about our faith. That salvation is by faith. Hello? For you to be saved, you don't need to do anything that you want to do just to be saved. Because the Bible said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, that salvation is by faith alone. Just believe in God. Have faith in God. And you will be saved. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Amen. It says, What does it say? 17, chapter 17, chapter, verse 20. He replied, Because you have so little faith, I, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Amen. God is not requiring us a very big faith. Amen. The Bible said in Matthew 17, 20, even faith, faith, or faith just like a mustard seed. Napakaliit ng seed ng mustard. Amen. Just like a mustard seed type of faith you can do, we can do the church can do great things as Jesus said for if you had faith even as small as a tiny mustard seed you could say to this mountain move and it will be, it will move wow so that's why it is it is so fascinating. Nakakamangha. Because of that faith that you have, because of my faith that we have, that I have, we came from different places. Amen. We have different upbringings. We have different educational attainment. But because, but in the eyes of God, Regardless of what attainment you have, regardless of what status in life we are or we have, in the eyes of God, we are equal. Why? Because we have the same faith for Christ. Amen? And God is just requiring, just like as mustard, mustard seed type, of faith. Parang kahit na maliit lang. Why ganon? Because he is talking about, God is talking about genuinity. God is talking about that even though it's, it is so small, if it is genuine, if it is true, you can move mountains. It means to say, nothing is impossible. Amen? It is because of our faith in God. Some fascinating facts about our faith is that foundational faith is vital for stable church growth. Again, in the beginning, in the beginning of, the, of, of this preaching, I always I, I said launching faith or act faith. Kailangan buhay, buhay, buhay yung pananampalataya po natin para matututayang kumilos at kumakbang ayon sa ating 
pananampalataya. According to 1 Timothy chapter 6, 11 to 12, okay, it says, sabi po doon, you are God's man, you are God's disciple, you are Jesus' followers, we are God's follower. So there is a demand, there is an instruction, there, there, uh, there, there is a command. Since that we are God's follower, since that we are God's people and God's man, it says that run from all those evil things and work instead at what is right and good. Because we are very vital. We are very important as part of this church for the growth of this church. Mm -hmm. And as what I, I, I was saying a while ago, that 2014 is a victorious year for this church because I believe that we, we did not just increase our knowledge about the Word of God, we did not just increase our patience, we did not just increase our love for Christ and to others, we did not just increase our obedience, but we increase our numbers and distance. That's why we can categorically say that this church is alive because this church is growing because of your faith, because of our faith in Christ. And again, as God's man, it says that run from all those evil things and work instead as what is right and good. Learning to trust God, love others, and be patient and gentle. <coughs> Kasi sa paglabo ng isang church, most often than not, sa isang pamilya mayroon sinasabing, what's this yung what's that? Black sheep of the family. And I believe there is no such thing in this family of God. Because we are all like Thinking. Because we have one faith, we have one God, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. And what else that is fascinating, what are these fascinating facts about our faith is that as Christian, as God's man, as disciples of Christ, as followers of Christ, God is demanding us to fight on for God. Ipaglaban natin ang Diyos natin. Amen? Kasi baka pag may, nag, may nagbahagi sa inyo ng ibang God, yes, amen, amen, yes, time. We have to stand for our faith. Fight on for God. Hindi ka makikipag-away, but you have to depend and you have to demonstrate your faith. How? By your action. By your, by our daily living. Napakaganda pong depensa, no? Amen? And of course, yung po sinasabing flourishing, flourishing faith, yung pag sinabi mong flourishing faith, that your faith is in good, good health, yeah. When we say that our faith, uh, we have flourishing faith, of course, it will continue to grow. Pag ang tingin sa'yo, nababansod, ibig sabihin, namamatay yung pananampalatay. And I believe, as we have just said, we are so blessed. And always grab the opportunity to continue that blessing. To continue that growth in this church. Amen? Once again, in the eyes of God, 
whether you are pastors, whether you are elders, whether you are deacons, whether you are what we call a member of this church, we are all the same in the eyes of God. Wala tayong pwede ipagmalaki. Because it is only because only of His grace kaya tayo that we were able and that we could be able to stand before God. Amen? And talking about flourishing faith. How do you think we could develop and keep the principles of that kind of faith? Number one, this consistent living keeps faith flourishing. Amen? According to verse uh, 12 of our text in, uh, in Psalm 92, Psalm 92, okay, I will just, uh, verse 12, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree, they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Amen. It's again, the righteous, the godly, will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Amen. God, people, disciples of God, followers of God, will continue to grow if and when we continue or consistently live by faith. It means that regardless of the situation where we are in. Hindi pa pwedeng pag may problema ka, may problema rin ng pananampalataya mo. Pag pinipersecute ka, kasama pinipersecute yung faith mo. Pag malamig, Nasa kwarto ka na rin at ang lalami. Again, the principles to develop and to keep the principles of flourishing faith is that consistent living is necessary and needed for each one of us. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. As we consider some great her heroes of faith or famous for their faith, like whom? Of course, Abraham is one of that, one of those. Father of faith. God asked Abraham to offer his son, the promised son, as promised by God. And because of his faith, he follows. But because, because God, as a regard, mag-murder, na ang tao ay maging murder. And before the act of, amen, papataan nyo na, sasaksakin na niya si Isaac, God said, stop it. I just want to test your faith. Merong, ano, merong isang, what's that? Hayop na naano dyan, na naano yung sungay sa, sa, sa bayo. Yun ang yung yung over sa akin. Maybe what happened to Abraham might happen to us. Maybe God is at this very moment is testing us. Testing your faith. Testing my faith. If it is alive. If it is kicking. If it is growing. Amen. As well as Joseph. Joseph Joseph, faith flourished even in prison. Kahit na sa kulungan si Joseph. Even when Joseph was in prison, he did not forget God. And God favored him through the jailer, chief jailer, when the chief jailer asked Joseph to be the prison administration and all the prisoners was under his supervision during the time there was no evidence that 
Joseph commit sin. But during that time, the the the, the law that they will that they follow is that uh, what's this? You are declared guilty until proven innocent. Balik ka din, di ba? Kahit na nakakulong ka, even though you are in prison, just like what happened to some well-known personality in the Philippines, they keep declaring that I, I, I'm not guilty because I'm not pro- it was not proven that I am guilty. So I am innocent until ang batas natin, I am innocent until proven guilty. But during the time you are not yet proven guilty, you, know, you are already in prison. Or you are already as if you have already committed sin. Tama ba? It's not confusing. Parang ako nakonfusan. And that's why Joseph was in prison. He was accused. Walang ebidensya and so on and so forth. But still, because of his faith in God, even though he was in the prison, he was in his faith. And of course, Joseph, after two years of imprisonment, Joseph was called out, not to stand for trial, but to interpret a dream. And that is one of the favor of God. Why? Because even though he was in prison, amen, his faith in God was alive. His faith in God was growing. His faith in God was flourishing. Again, sabi po natin, to keep, to develop the principles of flourishing faith for his consistent living is very required to us all. Joseph faith who else? She is Stephen. Amen. Stephen was martyred, but as as Jesus said before his before he got, he died, sabi niya, "Ama ko, my father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing." As before, Stephen died, he prayed to God, asking forgiveness for his mother because he was stoned na matay po na binabato because of the sin of according to the to the to those people according to the Pharisees uh, uh, but this Stephen was committed the sin of blasphemy at pag blasphemy ang kasalanan you have to mamamatay ka through stone. But before Stephen died, he asked God for the forgiveness of those people, of those murderers, mm-hmm. those people who stoned him to death. Okay. Amen? So again, during the time that he was so suffering, aba palagay ko yung tamahan ka lang ng isang bato. Amen? But what's the word that will come out from your mouth? Putumaya, putumaya. Medyo nakat ka ang sasakyan mo. Usually, ano na bibigkas? Ng mga driver, ng mga nag-driver. I love you. <laughs> Naibig yung kuko mo. Puto ko tsinta. <laughs> But what happened to Stephen? Gusto niyo? Ayun. He asked for those people who murdered him, who stoned him for death. So again, in order for your faith to grow, to be strong, to be stable, to be unmovable, regardless of you are inside the prison, regardless of your ups and downs, Regardless of you are experiencing some physical difficulties, sickness, and so on and so forth, financial difficulties, and whatever difficulties, 
the world can give still maintain your faith and always be consistent in our living as we walk by faith in Christ. Another one is Paul. Paul faith flourished under severe persecution. Second Corinthians chapter 4, 11 to 17. Chapter 4, 17. Paul faced suffering trials and distress as he preached the God, the good news, but he knew that they would one day be over and he would obtain God's great blessing. Diba always, what we say here? Lilipas din yan, kapatid. Matatapos din yan, kapatid. Word of encouragement. All your suffering will be, will come, will pass away. And the blessing of God, hope that we have not been, the, the, the promises of God, na hindi pa natin nakikita, with that we have not yet seen because of your faith, sabi natin, it will come to pass. You will receive that promise of God. And for Paul, rather than giving up, he concentrated on developing his inner strength. Sanit na mag-concentrate doon sa kanyang kadagayan, sanit mag-concentrate doon sa kanyang sitwasyon, ang, ang dinevelop ni Paul is the inner strength. Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit said, I will help you, I will comfort you, I will teach you, and I will help you. Amen? So yung inner strength natin daw ay nagagawa, nagagawa natin mapalakas. How? By communicating to God and with God. How? Paano tayo nakikipag-communicate? By prayer. Nananalangin ba tayo? Are we pray? Do we pray? Amen. And that is to make our inner being strong. So that in any situations that we are in, our faith will still be growing, that our faith will still be flourishing. There are problems and human limitations as allowed by God, have several benefits to all of us. Hindi lahat ng problema. Ibig sabihin, problema. Not all human limitations are problems. But God allows it, allow all these things to happen to us. Why? In order to help us remember Christ suffering for us. Sabi nga ng Biblia, hindi pa nga dumadana yung dugo mo. Yes, it will. That's even shedding of your blood, of God, of your blood, to prove your faith in Christ. God allows problems, human limitations, for several benefits for us Christians, Help us remember Christ's suffering for us. All these problems, they help us from, they help us or keep us, help keep us from pride. Kasi pag lahat kaya mo, pag lahat sinasabi nung nasa sa'yo na lahat, ang taas ng pilay mo. Yeah, sometimes, God allow us to have problem. God <coughs> allows us to understand and to know that all of us have what we call human limitation. In order for us to understand and help keep us from pride, from pagtataas ng noo. Ako lang yata dito ang medyo malapad ang mataas ang noo. No? Pero ngayon hindi halata. Amen! Amen! Again, they help us, they help 
keep us from pride, all these problems and human limitation. They help us look beyond this brief life. How many how many years do you think people will live in this world? Seventy years? Eighty years? Ninety years? Okay, let us put it hundred years. But still, it is still brief life. It is still short life compared to eternal life that God has given to us. Amen. For us Christians, because of our faith, we are always saying, or we keep on saying, matatapos din kung anong problem na meron tayo. Lilipas din yan. And mind Matapos lumipat yan. Matap after it come, it ka it at after it has come to pass. Pag naalala mo, hindi ano na lang. And then you will say, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. That I have overcome whatever situation that you were in before. Because God said, I am the conqueror of this world. And God as conqueror, and we as His children, we as well, we are conqueror, conqueror as well. Amen? Kaya natin, ano mang sitwasyon, ano mang problema, by the grace of God. That's why God, in the Word of God, keeps on reminding us to strengthen your inner self, your inner being, by being very, very, very dependent. Not on your strength, but dependent on God. Amen? And of course, problems and human limitations are allowed by God so that these problems, these human limitations <coughs> prove our faith to others. How? Sometimes you can say, sabi natin, hindi ko na kaya ang gawin na ito. I cannot do this. Ano? Yeah, hindi ko kaya ang gawin yan. But God said, I will never go, I will never leave you. I will never go save you. Kaya may katulong ka na gagawa niyan. And outside the church, the world will say, how can you do that? How will you, were you able to do that? Or maybe we are in a situation na para bang pag mundo ang mundo ang makaranas noon parang ano na end of the world already. Amen. But for us Christian because of your faith because our faith is growing, flourishing, active and so on and so forth. Kahit na we, there are we have human limitations kahit na mayroon tayong problema, ang sabi ng mundo, dapat parang wala siyang problema. May testimony before, nobody knows that sometimes I have only 20 feet, 20 pence in my pocket. Hindi ako apikado kung 20, kung 10 feet lang yan o 20 feet. My smile is still big as when I have 100 pounds in my pocket. I'm not affected but before, ay nagmumamaktol na ako. Why? Again, during the time, meron niya po ako ng... Uh, uh, I was, ano pa, hindi ko ata uh, nasabi ito, na testify, but just short, no? Meron ako sinasabing two parents, two mother. The, the, the sister of my father, and then my real mother. My real mother, biological mother, I, I call him nanay, inay. But my, the, the sister of my father, because uh, she wants me na ako yung par anak niya, I called her mama. So pag nanay, inay, my real mother. When I said mama, yun. and of course being, to have that two mother, two parents, para bang medyo na spoil Natatanda ako during the time sa baryo namin, maliit na baryo. Pag mayroong, kasi yung may, may mama is always in Manila. Bibili siya ng mga different kinds of items for business. Parang yung laruan. Hindi mo, ano, parang sa unang-unang makikita doon pag sa baryo namin, unang-unang may laruan, 
that that kind of, of toy is me. Para bang, so parang ang point, my point here is, parang ano yun, hindi ako masyadong nagana kung ano yung gusto ko. It was all there. Hindi po naman malaki. Mahirap po kami. Amen? But by the grace of God, amen, it was, yung, uh, what we have was so patient and still so patient, I believe, for us to live, to enjoy life. <coughs> Kaya nga po, ang sabi po dito, for us to to maintain and to keep that principle of flourishing faith, regardless of the situation. Live by faith. Consistent living is important for us Christians. Amen. Okay, they prove our faith to others and of course, they give God, kung may problema ka, you have problems, You are in a situation that, uh, that you don't like. Mm-hmm. Amen? We give God the opportunity to demonstrate His power. Right? Because you have faith in God. Because you believe in God. Because you believe that God can do miracles in your life. That those things that are impossible to this world is <coughs> possible with God. Amen? And because of your faith in Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Where are we now? Maybe it's already 12 o'clock. Are, we, are you hungry? Do you say one, two hours? <laughs> Boy. Sabi ni Sister Sosie, kung <laughs> so, may mic, dinig na dinig yung rejection. I'm no, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will take this opportunity. This Sunday is the fear of fear. First Sunday of 2015, I will grab the opportunity. We are, we are, wow. Oh, iiyak na yan. <laughs> You know why? I don't know. Yes, you don't know. You know why? It is because of our faith. Why we are in this place? Amen. It is because of Christ that we are in this place. That's why we are so blessed. You don't know me before. I don't know you before. But it is because of that flourishing faith in us. Amen? Because of that alive faith in us. That trophy and king will be together in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. That's why napakahalaga po. It's so important. It's so vital for us people of God to understand how to keep that principle, how to develop that principle of flourishing faith. It's just starting. We are just starting 2015 and we don't know what gonna happen for the few, for the next few days, months, weeks and months. We might encounter some difficulty i hope not we might encounter some problem i hope not but in case just in case always remember that regardless of the situation regardless of where we are in always be consistent in our demonstration of our faith because god is always with us he will never leave us he will never forsake us amen Our problems, our situation, bad situations, maybe persecutions, all of these things will run away, will pass away. And the blessing will always come from God. Amen. Amen. And I want to be reminded that faith flourishes. And, pre- and proportion to our dedication 
to Christ. But uh, we might be saying, I have faith, and so on and so forth. We might be saying, mas malaki pa nga sa mustard seed. My faith is bigger than the mustard seed. Amen? But is it, is it true? Faith, yung sinasabing, our faith grows in proportion to our dedication, dedication, dedication to Christ. Ibig sabihin, may faith ka nga. Ayaw mo namang i-dedicate yung buhay mo. Ayaw mo namang i-dedicate yung gift mo. Marunong kang kumanta. Amen? First God, meron tayong Amen? Yung backup singer natin, I think this is the first day for si Sister, ano? Kung si Sister Lofi, hindi lang siya nagtataas, hindi lang siya kumakanta, humahataw pa. Diba? Kita mo naman. Okay? That is a life faith. That is growing faith. That is flourishing faith. Amen? Because the Bible, it is biblical. Now, that when we worship, when we praise God, if you want to dance, dance for the glory of God. If you want to raise your hand, raise your hand for the glory of God. If you want to jump, jump for the glory of God. That is the demo one of the demonstrations that your faith is alive. That your faith is keeping. That your faith is growing. Amen? Huwag yung pag New Year ka lang lundag ng lundag. Hindi ka natataas ka pa. Ang pataasin natin yung ating pananampalatay. Amen? Hindi ako tumitingin kay sister. <laughs> Wala si Brother Sitas, no? Ay, ayun pala. Sorry. Layos ako that you are saying in this place, no? Ba't hindi mo yung bagsa kaya bumaba? Again, Aside from being consistent in our living, in our lifestyle, number two, principle. Kita mo number two pa lang ako ha? Amen? Huwag maiinip. Maiinip. Kasi pag nainip kayo ngayon, the whole year, maiinip kayo sa preaching. Amen? Second principle, how to keep and to develop flourishing faith is one. Charts in bold men. In bold your charts. Yourself. Amen. To all church activities. Ibig sabihin, wag naman lahat ng church activities. I'm not saying lahat ng church activities. But again, the Bible is very clear. We have different gifts. We have different abilities and skills to be presented before God's people and use that. You know how to sing? Sing it for the Lord. You know how to preach? Preach, share the word of God. You know how to cook? Cook and share. Amen. Hindi puro ko ka na lang. Amen. Amen. Those that we be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Sabi po sa 13. Amen. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the court of our God. Amen? David flourished in the court of our God. Church involvement is very much vital and necessary for us Christians. Amen? If you want to develop, if, if you want to keep the, the principle of what? Anong principle yan? Again? Flourishing. Yung faith na lumalago. Yung faith na buhay. Ako ulit-ulit. Because this is the start of the of 2015. Uh, gusto ko, by, by the grace of God, I believe God wants us to demonstrate that kind of faith. Alive faith, flourishing faith, growing faith. Uh, why? Bakit God is requiring us that? Amen? Because kailangan yung church involvement. Because if you involve your, yourself, sa ating mga gawain sa church, whatever talent, skills that you have, in whatever capacity, you want to, to, to present yourself or to involve yourself because God is in the midst of us and it says that in 13, once again, planted in the house of the Lord. Each one of us are transplanted or transplanted in the garden of God. When we say, 
the, 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 when, pag sinabi po natin when we say the house of the Lord it speaks of people of God because we as a church this is the house of the Lord we are we are temple of the Holy Spirit we are family of God we are church of God at when we say church of God people of God it means that ito po yung mga believers <coughs> Amen. The house of the Lord speaks of the people of God. That's why according to 2 Timothy, ano, 2 Chronicle chapter chapter 7 verse 12, uh, verse 14. Gusto ko I, I just want somebody to to read that one. Uh, one of my ano, one of my favorite verse ko, verses. 2 Chronicle 7:14. 7, po, 7 verse 14 Kunti na lang po, no? Kunti na lang. Mga one, less than one hour na lang, ha? Okay. If my people who are called